three as we take a look at some of the current conditions, Tracy. Hey, thank you, Chris Thomas. So we'll start things off with our temperatures outside and things have still been relatively unseasonal for us. We saw temperatures in the mid 80s again today in Sacramento, mid 80s in Stockton, 87 degrees in Marysville and some of the warmest conditions coming in at 91 in Oroville. We also had some gusts that picked up today as well. 17 mile per hour gusts in Placerville, 21 in South Lake Tahoe, 24 in Truckee. Those winds are expected to start to subside as we move into early tonight and winds are still veering in out of the west to southwest, pushing that fire, the Caldor fire, pushing it to areas to the north to the northeast, as well as the smoke associated with it, which is why South Lake Tahoe has just been mired with unhealthy air quality. But I got big changes coming in, changes in the form of a huge shift in our weather. High pressure systems going to come in. So now winds are going to going to be coming in out of the north to northeast. That means that that fire is now going to be pushed those fires to the south to southwest. That means for Tahoe, they could see some improvement in their air quality. What does that mean for valley locations? Well, we're also still dealing with the McFarland fire. We still got the Dixie fire, so parts of the valley will be picking up more smoke. Here is a look at the Caldor fire, and the red dots that you see here are thermal imaging, thermal hot spots that we've received within the last 12 hours. Most of it on the north as well as the northeastern flank of the fire. That's because winds have been coming in out of the southwest, pushing it in that direction. But again, when winds start to change, where will this fire go next? Well, I'm expecting the winds to be moving to the south to southwest. That means it's going to be moving towards Somerset. That also means it's going to be moving right here. That's Amador County line. So that's where it's going to be pushing throughout the day on Thursday as well as into Friday. Taking a look outside right now toward the Gilmore backyard. Temperatures in the mid 80s, 19% relative humidity. And for your weather headlines, that huge shift in the winds. Good for Tahoe, not so great for us. North to northeast winds pushing the fire again in the opposite direction and a fire weather watch is now in effect. Does that mean we have another red flag warning? Could be. I'll let you know when we could see some of the direst conditions coming up. Mm.